This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by lsfund.org. We will record! We will record! That's Free Stater James Coakley helping me with a protest project at Porkfest. Hey, that's three Ps. Anyway, I had this idea that I sort of sloppily tried out after the uh, group photo uh, during Porcupine Fest 2011. I thought it would be kind of cool to get people together and just kind of, oh, you know, as long as we're all in the same place, why don't we get like, yeah, you know, a few of us together and uh, just do a bunch of batch chants, you know, like all these different things we'd chant about. Stealing cameras! Stop stealing cameras! Stop stealing cameras! Well, I'm not really very good at organizing events, uh, and so this kind of, not that many people showed up to help me. Uh, I, I, I got distracted by the fact that I'm trying to videotape and direct people at the same time. It ended up looking kind of staged. I really appreciated the people showing up and, uh, and helping me with this, however. And I think the idea, if a good person, you know, the right person could do it, it's a really good sound idea to have what I call batch protests. Again, this was, this is just a batch chant, but, you know, as long as you've got hundreds of free staters in the same place, why not just have, I don't know, while you're there, you know, just do like t 10 or 20 different protests right there in the same spot. So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to, you don't have to recruit people to be there. They're already there. It's an idea I think would be fun, you know, just because, yes, supposedly you normally, when you're going to protest something like the Department of Environmental Services having some new policy or something, you would go to the offices of the Department of Environmental Services and you would stand there with a sign and about three of you or six of you or ten of you would show up and you'd have to plan it, put it on Facebook, you know, call Porcupine 411, drive there. Um, and yes, obviously the advantage is that the DES bureaucrats will see you while they're driving to work. But in today's Facebook, YouTube world, it's what gets on the internet that really counts, or what gets views you know, in, in the video and, and, and the still pictures uh, and in the text descriptions of what happened. That's really more important than what happens at the site. So I just think it would be really cool. I, I'm really not going to do this myself because I just really... I, whenever I get away from doing video, I tend to kind of regret it. So um, I'm just going to do video. But if, if one of you wanted to set up a bunch of batch protests like at Porcupine Fest or at the Liberty Forum. I think that would be really cool. Um, I would probably support it in some way with video or something else. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, how would it how would it play out? I mean, let's say you could just say, okay, well, we're going to the Liberty Forum on, uh, you know, it's going to be February 22nd, I guess, this is, you know, the middle of the Liberty Forum. I think that's the day it is. Uh, I think that's the day it would be the middle. And I think this is going to be the 22nd of February, and we're going to have a batch protest. Uh, we're going to meet, well, right there at the Liberty Forum, in, in the middle of the lobby or, or somewhere, you know, uh, somewhere appropriate. And uh, just bring whatever sign you feel like. <laughs> bring whatever sign-making equipment you feel like, and whatever issue you feel like. And we'll just, you know, if you, if you would like to have some photographs of, you know, 15 people lined up with signs that say... Uh, impeach Ben Bernanke or something like that, um, then you get it, right? Because everybody's already there. I think it would be fun. Uh, and then we'd have video. The thing that the, what the goal is to have video of all these different issues that in the past maybe they weren't very visual. For instance, I've always had trouble covering uh, the story about the, uh, the, the arrest of Curtis, uh, Sovereign Curtis, uh, Curtis Finnamore, I think is his last name. Um, the, um, guy who was arrested for, like, just selling marijuana or something like that. And, um, I never really had much video to work with. There was video of the arrest, but there had never been any kind of protest, uh, against, uh, the, the police who arrested him. So it was harder to cover that, uh, that, uh, issue, uh, back in the day, uh, than it would have been if there had been a demonstration. Well, we could have had a demonstration. I, I guess we technically we did. I kind of organized one sort of where we at least chanted about it and so forth. Uh, but but if you, again, if I had had video of 10 people standing around with signs about Curtis, then it would have been easier to cover what happened to, cut, to Curtis uh, and to raise objections to it and so forth. So that's just one example. There could be many others. It's just, it, 
it's very difficult to, to do videos about something if it isn't illustrated. And the easiest way to illustrate a grievance is to stand there anywhere with a sign uh, that, 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 that explains your grievance in three to five words. And it really, for the video, it doesn't really matter whether you were out front of the bureaucrat's office or whether you were, you were participating in one of 20 different batch protests that, that went on uh, right there in the same place where everyone already happened to be. It, anyway, it's just a brainstorm. We could use all the different tools and uh, options for activism that, that, <laughs> that we can think of. So if there's one more for you, I'll be very amused if one of you tries to do this. And you know, for instance, specifically, the scenario that could play out at the Liberty Forum is you organize, you know, these batch protests. A buddy of yours runs a video camera, or maybe I run a video camera. Uh, all the batch protests get put on YouTube one after another. And now we've got, you know, 20, 30 minutes of file video of all these different types of protests, all these different issues. I know for me, on the Riley Report, and probably for some of the other uh, video guys out there in our movement. Already about eight people here. For me, just having these file, these pieces of file videos sitting around that uh, bring to life uh, these issues, that bring them to life in a visual sense, having that video just makes all the difference between whether I can do a video about something or not. For instance, this one was particularly useful, again, and again, it's not a, really a protest, there's no signs, but just a chant, but just having some people chant about Ben Bernanke, well, the Federal Reserve is not very visual, so the fact that I had this chanting video, uh, I've been able to use it three or four times, and it's just, it's helped me get through the problem of Federal Reserve boringness, right? Gandhi said to make a grievance, uh, you know, talked about, you got to make it visible. Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSfund.org They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help lsfund.org Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.